Happy Wednesday! How is everyone? Okay, what'd you guys have for dinner tonight? Tell me. I'm so curious. And because I have been making soup for the last, well, I've been making soup like, I don't know, for the last five days straight. So I had to make some bread to dip into the soup, right? I had to make some bread, right? Because every Italian needs bread to dip into their to dip into their soup, don't you think? I think so. So here's the thing. I have this most simple, tastiest keto bread recipe ever. And it's like, it's like just a few ingredients. This is so incredibly simple. Hey Scott, how are you? Hey Scott, check this out. I made bread, keto bread. Look at this, okay. So this is like a little mini loaf. I made a whole bunch of these little mini loaves. Does anybody want my little mini bread loaves? Lynette, you would love this bread. Frank, I know you're on here. This is almost like you could almost totally get this by an Italian. You would not even know. So look at this little baby bread, okay? Check it out, right? Right? It looks so good. It's a little tiny bitty, itty bitty. Okay, so this is like Wonder White Bread kind of sort of, right? This is so simple and my kids, because I've got like five different soups out today, we had like a little soup like buffet at the house, right? So they were dipping, oh, Erin, you've gotta make this bread. You will love this bread so much, okay? Check it out, see, right? Let me show you. I made it in these little mini loaf pans, see? So cute, right? They're so adorable. Kirsten, you would like this too, it's so tasty. And when you slice it, look, see? Can you guys see? See? One net carb per slice. And this is a baby slice, okay? Because, okay, here's the thing. One recipe gives you one like regular size loaf of bread, okay? But I made these little mini ones. So I got three of these little mini ones per one recipe. So if you make one recipe and you put it in one loaf pan, you're actually getting way bigger slices. And it's one net carb. Check this out. One net carb, right? Even some of my kids were like, this isn't keto, this tastes so delicious. Like, right? They're like, mom, why did you make bread? What's going on, why did you make bread? Why do we have bread today, right? What if I make a, okay, Scott, you know what I'm just saying, right? You bring me a cup of coffee, I'll give you a loaf of bread, Scott, okay? Check it out, so cute, right? Okay. So here's the even better part about this whole entire thing, right? This bread is like just a few ingredients and it's super easy. Carol, can you hear me tonight? It's super easy. All you need is a whole bunch of eggs. <laughs> you need a whole bunch of eggs, but that's okay. So you need egg whites. You need almond flour, almond flour. Okay, I got this at Walmart. You need a little bit of coconut flour. Walmart, and like I said, you need egg whites, not the yolk, just the white. So it's a dozen, a dozen egg whites per recipe, not the yolk. You know what you do with the yolk? You make keto tres leche. That's what you make with the yolk, okay? I'm just letting you know because nothing goes to waste in this house. That's what you make, and then you have a little party. Then you have like a little bread, like, cake delicious dessert party. That's what you have after you've eaten your soup with your bread. It's so tasty. Okay, so eggs, almond flour, coconut flour. And this is how it goes. There's a couple of ingredients that are optional and I'll tell you why they're optional. So what you do is you crack your eggs and you put the egg whites here and then you put the yolks over here. Hi Carmela, how are you? What's going, thank you so much, you're so sweet. So you take the egg whites and you put them in a bowl. Put them in a really big bowl is my suggestion to you because once you beat them with the beaters, egg whites get really, really fluffy and you want them to get fluffy. So put your egg whites in a giant bowl, like a bowl that's like this size, right? Kind of like my pot. Oh, I don't even have my really big pot. I have like my medium size, my two medium ones, but that's okay. Put them in a really big pot, right? Crack your egg whites in there, put the yolks somewhere else, right? So then you're gonna beat the yolks, beat, 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 beat with the beater. But if you want, you don't have to, if you want, you can add a little bit of cream of tartar, cream of tartar to the egg whites and it'll speed up the process. That's basically what it'll do. And on top of it, cream of tartar is a very good source of potassium, which we all need. 
It's an electrolyte that we all need, so I'm just letting you know you're gonna get some of your electrolytes in while you're speeding up the process of feeding your egg whites. It's a win-win for everybody, right? And it's all keto. Imagine that, right? So you can, but you don't need to, add a little bit of cream of tartar to your egg whites. Okay, with that being said, you beep, 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 whoop, puppy, puppy, puppy. Hey Greg, how are you? Then you put that bowl aside, right? You take another bowl, you add your almond flour, you add your coconut flour, and this is optional, this is completely optional. You can also add like a teaspoon of powdered swerve to make it a little sweet, just a little tiny sweetness. Sweet like me, there's a little tiny bit of sweetness, okay? This is optional, but like a teaspoon. And you can also add, but it's completely optional as well, a little bit of xanthan gum. Look at this, check this out, which this is like, this is a thickening agent. It's kind of like cornstarch for keto people, but it also kind of gives bread the spongy texture. But you don't have to add this, okay? And this would just be like a tiny little itty bitty, teeny little teeny tiny, that's all you need. A little bit goes a long way. So you don't need this, it's optional. Optional, optional, optional. Not optional, <laughs> not optional, and really not optional, okay? So this is what you do. After you beat, beat, beat the egg whites, right? So you've got your big bowl over here. You take your almond flour and your coconut flour and then you just kind of stir it around, okay? Then, oh, and I forgot butter. Oh my gosh, one of the most, almost important ingredients, butter. So you just need five, I did four. <laughs> I said five and I showed you number four. You need five teaspoons, so it's almost a stick of butter. Almost a stick of butter. Melt the butter, pour the butter into your dry ingredients. Okay, stir, stir, stir. Then you have your egg whites over here. So you have a bowl with your dry ingredients and your butter. And then you have this bowl with these fluffy, pretty egg whites, right? So you take a little bit of your egg whites and you put them into your dry ingredients and you stir, stir, stir. Take a little bit more, stir, stir, stir. A little bit more, add the, stir, stir, stir. Okay, see where I'm going here? You're folding it, you're actually folding it. You're not stirring, you're folding it in. Let me use the gentle terms here. I am Italian and there's nothing really that gentle about me, but I say stir, but I really mean fold. <laughs> Fold it in, okay? So you take your egg whites and you fold it into your dry ingredients. You take a little bit more egg whites, fold it into your dry ingredients until you've combined everything. And then once everything is combined, you can either put it in one giant loaf pan or into three little itty bitty loaf pans like I did here. You could even make muffins if you want. I mean, like, the sky's the limit, but I wanted it to look like bread and it looks like bread. My kids love it. You can even slice it and put it in the toaster. I did it with a big loaf. Slice it, put it in the toaster. You can make um, toast, right? Toast, butter, jelly, whatever. Sugar-free jelly, I'm just saying. So then you put it in your loaf pan. You pop that in the oven at 325 degrees for approximately 35 to 45 minutes. And voila, it comes out smelling like bread, looking like bread, tasting like bread. Oh my God, it's bread. It's totally bread, right? It's keto bread. And everyone is happy. You could actually, additionally, you could add some like garlic powder or some of the seasoning, like everything but the bagels. You could, you know, the sky's the limit really. But I was trying to make this like your regular white bread that everybody expects that you're gonna go to the grocery store and you're gonna get like your regular, typical white bread, right? That was what I was going for. Next week, I'm gonna try something different. But this week, this was white wonder keto, white wonder bread, right? Pop this in the toaster, you can have it for breakfast, you can make a sandwich out of it, you can make grilled cheese out of it, you can just have toast with some butter. I'm telling you, the sky's the limit. Sounds like a lot, it's not a lot of work. Scott, it's not a lot of work. I'm telling you right now, you did more work today painting that house that I saw you painting. I saw the house you were painting, you did a lot more work today than it took me to make this little bitty loaf of white bread. And this is wonderful keto white bread. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Just come over to my house, paint my bedroom, Scott, and I'll give you some keto white bread, okay? That's it in a nutshell. 
Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. I hope everybody had the most wonderful warrior women Wednesday ever. See you guys later. I'll see you tomorrow with some soup recipes. See you later, have a great night. Bye John.